What do steam engines and silicon chips have in common? At first glance, not much. But if you zoom out, you'll see something remarkable. The world is undergoing a transformation as profound as the Industrial Revolution. Only this time, it's driven by artificial intelligence. Two very different ages, two very different technologies, yet their impact on work, society, power, and even human identity, remarkably similar. Today, we're diving deep into the parallels between the rise of AI and the Industrial Revolution. Because to understand our future, we need to understand our past. Just setting the stage, two historic shifts. Let's begin with a quick overview of each revolution. The Industrial Revolution, which began in the late 1700s in Britain, was the shift from handmade goods to machine-powered factories. Steam engines, mechanized looms, and railroads transformed agriculture, manufacturing, and transportation. It was dirty, chaotic, and brutally efficient. But it laid the groundwork for the modern world. Now, fast forward to today. We're in the early stages of what many call the AI revolution, driven by machine learning, robotics, and neural networks. AI doesn't build railways or steam engines. It builds algorithms. It drives cars, writes code, diagnoses diseases, and maybe even outthinks us. Two very different revolutions. But both are catalysts for massive social, economic, and philosophical upheaval. To the invention spark, steam engine and neural networks. Every revolution starts with a spark. In the industrial era, it was the steam engine, perfected by James Watt in the 1760s. It turned heat into mechanical work and became the beating heart of factories, trains, and ships. In the AI era, the spark is deep learning, a type of machine learning inspired by the human brain. It allows machines to learn patterns from massive data sets and improve over time. Both technologies didn't explode overnight. They simmered in labs and workshops for decades, but once commercialized, they reshaped entire economies. Workforce transformation. Machines replace manual labor, then mental labor. One of the most obvious parallels, job disruption. During the Industrial Revolution, machines replaced artisans. A single spinning machine could do the work of dozens of textile workers. Blacksmiths, weavers, and cobblers were wiped out or forced to adapt. Today, AI is automating white-collar jobs. Copywriters, accountants, customer service agents, even software engineers are being augmented or replaced by intelligent systems. The Industrial Revolution automated muscles. The AI revolution is automating minds. And just like before, we're seeing fear, resistance, and a massive shift in how people define work and identity, speed and scale. Exponential growth. The Industrial Revolution took over a century to reach its full impact. AI, it's moving much faster. Once a niche academic field, AI became mainstream within two decades, thanks to Moore's Law, Big Data, and Cloud Computing. The pace of disruption is exponential, meaning jobs, industries, and economies can be transformed not in decades, but in months or years. Just like how railroads and telegraphs suddenly connected the world in the 1800s, AI-powered tools now connect data, devices, and decisions at unimaginable speed. The economic realignment, new titans emerge. The Industrial Revolution created a new economic elite. Factory owners like Andrew Carnegie, John D. Rockefeller, and Cornelius Vanderbilt amassed huge fortunes and reshaped capitalism itself. Today, tech giants are the new tycoons, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Sundar Pichai, and Sam Altman. AI companies now dominate stock markets and wield massive influence over governments and societies. In both eras, wealth became concentrated in the hands of those who controlled the new infrastructure, whether it was railways, 
or cloud servers. The rich got richer, and the rest had to catch up. Urbanization versus digitization. The Industrial Revolution triggered urbanization. People moved from farms to factories. Cities grew into crowded, polluted metropolises. Today, we're seeing digitalization. People are moving from offices to screens. Work is becoming decentralized. Cities are still growing, but digital work is detaching location from income. Instead of coal and steel, today's economy runs on data and attention. And just like then, society is struggling to adapt to these new ways of living and working. The resistance and fear, then and now. New revolutions always bring fear. In the 1800s, Luddites, skilled textile workers, destroyed machines that were taking their jobs. They weren't anti-technology, they were anti-poverty. Today, AI protests are growing. Writers strike over chat GPT. Artists fight against AI-generated art. Lawmakers call for regulation. Just like before, workers aren't afraid of progress. They're afraid of being left behind. The emotional toll, job insecurity, anxiety, loss of purpose, is eerily similar across centuries. Our social upheaval, class divides, new philosophies. The Industrial Revolution reshaped class structures. The working class exploded. The middle class emerged. Socialists and anarchists challenged the capitalist order. Today, the AI revolution is reshaping inequality again. There's a growing gap between digital elites and displaced workers. New terms like techno-feudalism are entering the discourse. Calls for universal basic income echo Marxist ideas of the 19th century. Both revolutions made society ask hard questions. Who owns the means of production? What is fair compensation? What role should the state play? History is repeating, with new tools, but familiar tensions. Education, reimagined education, had to change too. In the 19th century, we saw the rise of public education to train factory workers. Literacy became essential for industrial labor. Now, education is changing again. AI tutors like Conmigo or personalized learning systems are transforming classrooms. Coding and prompt engineering are becoming as essential as reading and math. We're preparing students not for manual labor, but for collaboration with machines. And just like in the past, institutions are struggling to keep up. Philosophical questions. What is humanity's role? The Industrial Revolution raised new existential questions. Are humans just cogs in a machine? Can technology outpace ethics? The AI revolution takes it further. Can machines be creative? Will AI ever be conscious? If machines can outperform us intellectually, what does that mean for our identity? These are not just technical questions. They strike at the heart of what it means to be human. Just like industrial machines changed how we saw our bodies, AI is changing how we see our minds. Global competition, who leads wins. The Industrial Revolution helped Britain dominate the world. Railroads, steamships, and factories gave it a massive edge in colonization and trade. Today, AI is a new kind of arms race. Countries like the US, China, and the EU are pouring billions into AI development. Whoever leads in AI, as Putin once said, may rule the world. But the stakes are higher, because this time, it's not just about controlling goods, it's about controlling intelligence itself. Be environmental impact, two waves of crisis. The Industrial Revolution came with a heavy price, pollution, climate change, and mass extraction. AI, while less visibly dirty, has its own footprint. Training large models like GPT-4 consumes enormous energy and water. Data centers are the new factories, and their impact on the environment is growing. Both revolutions force us to ask, is progress worth the cost? 
and how do we build a sustainable future in a rapidly evolving world? To learning from the past. So what can we learn? Both revolutions brought unprecedented innovation and deep inequality. Both displaced millions, but created new industries. Both raised philosophical questions about humanity's place in the world. But here's the difference. We have history on our side. We can see the mistakes of the Industrial Revolution, child labor, lack of regulation, unchecked capitalism, and avoid repeating them with AI. Because while we may be entering a new era, we are not doing so blindly. The future is being written not by machines, but by the choices we make right now. Thanks for watching. If you found this comparison between AI and the Industrial Revolution insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below.